Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are only but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, you know how we do. So today's video, as you can see, it's not a vlog. I decided to do a little sit down video and talk about some of the things that I have been obsessed with, okay? And I do mean obsessed, absolutely loving. Um, some things, not so much. I don't have very many um, things that I don't like um, because I try to intentionally um, um, purchase things that I know um, that I love, um, that I've purchased in the past. I do like to do a lot of repeat purchases. However, I do like to try new things and sometimes things just do not work out. So most of these products I've already used. There are a few new products that I'm going to show you guys just because I haven't um worn it or tried or haven't tried it doesn't mean i'm not obsessed i picked it up probably for a reason probably for a very good reason so i have quite a bit of things spread out here on my bed um none of this is going to be in order i'm going to try to just pick up things that i see um, some things might come to mind and I might have to pause the video child and go get more things because your girl has just been picking up stuff. Some of these things I bought during Black Friday have not worn, um, <clears throat> and just didn't get around to showing you guys, but I'm gonna show y'all right now. Okay. So if you would like to see what I am currently obsessed with, what I've been wearing, what I've been loving, some things not so much, then just keep watching. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the food items because two of these are empty and I need to go ahead and throw them in the trash. Okay, so first things first is um, Tabitha Brown. Many of you know that I'm on the Daniel Fast. Today is day 19. Two more days to go. So when I heard that she was coming out with a, a vegan line, okay, I was like, yes, I'm here for it bring me all of the vegan goodies. So these are the three things that I've tried. I'm gonna try more because honey, she got the healthy girls, the vegan girls, the people that just want to sound like my daughter is in there just breaking dishes, okay? She's got all of the people that just support her child weaning chokehold, okay? So the first thing um, are these nuts. These are vegan salt and vinegar cashews y'all i think i finished this in like two and a half three days and it was a lot of nuts in here <laughs> a lot of nuts y'all i love anything salt and vinegar so when i tell you i will be buying more okay i will be purchasing more these are so good okay then i got the vegan roasted garlic and parmesan or organic popcorn now y'all see this huge bag this bag was only $3.99 well worth every i, I would have paid five six seven eight nine ten dollars this is good okay with a t on the end good okay shelby even asked me when i was going to get more of this popcorn tomorrow Tomorrow we will be restocking, okay? She did her thing with this popcorn. And then the other thing, I have it on my dresser because I don't want it to spill because there is still some in here. It is the vegan spicy jalapeno cilantro garlic spread. Now I've been putting the this a little bit of this on my vegetables. Shelby actually added it to her chipotle the other day. Chokehold, okay? All I got to say is Tabitha Brown did her thing with this vegan line, okay? I will be purchasing more. If you have not tried it, you do not have to be vegan, of course, but it is so good, y'all. So go out and support your girl, Tabitha Brown, okay? All right, next on my list is going to be, let's do bath products. So, see, I already forgot one. Let me go get it. Hold on. Okay, so this right here. She good, y'all. She is so good. Now, I will say I do not use this every day um, because someone, because um, I showed this in a vlog and one of um, my lovely, lovely um, 
uh, YouTube sisters said that this dried her skin out. So um, I do tend to have drier skin um, during the winter months. So I make sure that I do not use this daily. And when I do use it, I make sure that I put lotion on. But y'all, this is so good. It is so thick. It lathers really, really well. You don't need a lot. Um, I will say I do like to use this after um, uh, I come from the gym. I just feel like it just gets me, you know, extra squeaky clean. So this Cetaphil, she's good, girl. She's good. And then on that same vlog, I purchased the Method Body. Um, I was, in the past, I was not a huge Method girl, but y'all, she's good. This lathers so good, y'all. I mean, and I'm a lather girl, okay? If it ain't lathering, I don't want it, okay? I need to see the, the lather. I need to see the soap. She's really good, and she smells really good. Oh, yeah, this smells good. This is the Pure Peace Peony Rose Water Pink Sea Salt. Now, you don't smell a whole lot of rose in this, but it you can smell um, some rose. If you, so if you are a rose girl, you might, I mean, if you don't like rose, you might not like this, but she smells amazing. And then I just have some Bath and Body Works products. Um, now I got these when they were $5.95. This is the aromatherapy line. I will say, I do not feel like these are worth the retail price, which I think is like $16.50. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I would I will only purchase these guys when they're on sale. So the Breathe Deep is really, really good. I have like a corner left. This smells so good. I actually have the um the body lotion. Um, this I, I mean I accidentally picked up both of these, not really realizing that I picked up both of these, but this one is the I don't have my glasses on. This is the hand cream, but child, I put this everywhere. Hand cream becomes leg cream, foot cream, arm cream. It, it goes everywhere, okay? And then this is the actual body lotion, I guess. I don't know, child, but these smell really good. I like to use these in the mornings um, before work. And then it's also, because it has this, it has eucalypt, eucalyptus and lavender, so you can use it before you go to bed. But I personally prefer more of a sexy scent before I go to bed, y'all, because that's just my vibe. But these are really, really good. So I do, I highly rep recommend the Breathe Deep line, okay? And then the Stress, stress Relief in um, Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I like this one. This is uh, this is great for in the mornings. I actually have the shower um, bombs as well. Love this, but this one, not so much. This is the patchouli, vanilla and patchouli. I don't really like this, y'all. This smell like an incense. Now, I'm not capping on incense because I love incense, but I don't want to walk around smelling like an incense. Now, patchouli is an acquired type smell. I actually like patchouli, but this got too much patchouli. So I have, you know, I don't like to waste nothing, y'all. So she going to get used up. I ain't throwing nothing away, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't like this one. And then I was able to get three products that I had trouble getting over the summer, okay? The first one would be this OC um, uh, body oil. It says Undaria Algae Body Oil. Um, now, I tried to get this. This is another oil that went viral on TikTok. And um, I tried to get it a couple of times from Ulta. It was sold out, so I kind of just, um, it just kind of like fell off of my radar. But um, one of my IG sisters posted that uh, Ulta was having 50% off of like a love your body type uh, campaign. And this was on special for 50% off. So I got mine for like 18 bucks because I used some Ulta points as well. So um, I smelled it in the car when I first picked it up. Kind of smell like algae, like the name says. 
but um, I've heard really, really good things about it. So I'm really, really excited to be trying it. And then the other products that I got, I got from Sephora. Now, again, this had the girls in the chokehold over the summer. And um, I just decided that I'm going to start, you know, getting ready for my, my summer fragrance. Because, you know, I live in Houston. You know, we have really nice summery days. Well, not really summery days. We have nice spring-like days. Um, and then, you know, summer will be here before you know it. So I've decided to just go ahead and start, you know, preparing for the summer, honey. Okay. PTO, prepare the others. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I picked up is this, um, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. This is a body hair mist spray. This is, is the number 40 inch. <laughs> when I tell you she smells good okay good i don't have my glasses on but i can see that it says something something vanilla woods something something good okay that's what it says <laughs> something good i'll if uh if i remember i'll put the notes on the screen when i when i edit and then i went ahead and picked up her little sister because i love me some bum bum cream but child I tried to order this over the summer, and again, I, I I remember putting it in my cart. I didn't check out right away, came back, and she was gone, okay? She was gone. Now, I picked up, I got it in a little small size because, um, you know, some of the girls wasn't very happy. Some of them said, you know, it smells good. It doesn't smell like nothing. It smells like Baccarat, you know, mixed reviews. So, I figure, you know. Let me get a small one, but honey, this smells like Baccarat in my opinion, okay? It, I'm buying the big one. She smells good in my opinion, okay? Um, I, I, I don't like to tussle with you girls. I like what I like. I know what my nose is telling me, and my nose is telling me Baccarat 540. She smells good, okay? Good, good, good. So, um, if you just want to just get a small little um, container and see if you like it, but I need to be on somebody's beach with this. This is what I'm smelling like all summer long. Okay. All right. Um, I did pick up a new perfume. I did get this around... Christmas time. This is by Valentino. Do not ask me how to say it. Viva Vose, Vose Viva. I'll put it on the screen. Judge your mama. She smells good too. Oh. Now, I will say this scent does not last on me, so I do layer it with another scent. And child, let me show you what I layer her with. Oh, where are you hiding at? I layer her with my... Chanel Chance, and I don't know where my bottle is. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I like to layer her with my Chanel Chance. Now, I don't feel like she can stand alone. She's always going to need, you know, a partner in crime. But this baby girl right here, as y'all can see, my bottle is very low. I will be, you know, filling her up for the summer. Now, Valentino, Born in Roma, and YSL Libre, those those are my those are, those are my hitters. Okay, when I when I th those are the hitters, but she she coming in third. I wore this to the doctor's office, and when I tell you, they was asking me what I had on. Okay, one of the um, workers said, "I smelled you as soon as you walked into the building." Now. Disclaimer, I do have a heavy hand. Your girl likes to spray. But if you don't have this, and this is the pink one, okay? She she that girl. She good, good. She good, good. Um, let's talk about beauty um, as far as makeup. So this NARS concealer don't quite know the name of it. I'll put it on the screen or I'll make sure I'll make sure 
What I can link, I link, okay? She good, good, okay? I don't know what took me so long to... I used to, well, I still do. I um I use the Maybelline Fit Me. I think that is a really good under eye concealer, but this is my new fave. Yeah. NARS can do no wrong, honey. NARS can do no wrong. Okay. Um, a lot of you asked me about my lip colors. Now let me just go down my favorites. Now, most of my glosses are from my lip line, She Beauty. Um, I do not have any lip gloss left. I don't think I do. What I have on today is from my lip line, okay? Um, I had a very popular one. I named her Chanel because Chanel is just that girl. And then I had, um, she. Uh, what was the name of it? I can't think of the name of the other one I had. But those are the two of lip glosses that I had that were um, my, they were, you know, favorites if you follow me on instagram that's mainly where i sold my lip gloss they are sold out now i do wear a pink um colored lipstick i will put a picture on the screen that is called goddess i do think i have some goddess left over um i will let you girls know if i do and then i'll let you know how you can order it now my other favorite lip line next to she beauty is too faced I think Too Faced has the best matte lip formula on the market, my personal opinion, okay? Um, one of my faves is Suck It. I will put it on the screen, and I'll also link it in the description. The other one is called Bend and Snap. Again, I'll put a picture on the screen. And then the other one is called um, What's Happening or something like that. I'll put that one on the screen and I will link them all in my description. Guys, I will also link my Like to Know It, which is where I, I always um, link that in the description on my videos. And that is where you can go and find my favorite lippies. But I tend to wear um, gloss. I, I used to not even be a gloss girl. I got into glosses when I started doing my own um, lipstick line. And then um, I, I'm, I am a colored matte girl. I love loud. I love the pinks, the oranges, the reds. Hands down, my absolute favorite are colored matte lipsticks. And my favorites are by Too Faced. I also wear a red. It is by um, Too Faced as well. And it's called Lady Balls. I will link them all in the description. Okay. Um, I think that's it for makeup, perfume. Um, I do have two more food items, um, my chlorophyll and my collagen. I am currently out of collagen, but I will put the collagen that I use on the screen. If you follow me on Instagram, um, most mornings, if I remember, I um, warm some um, a cup of water. I put in a few drops of my chlorophyll and one scoop of my collagen. And that is how I take my collagen and chlorophyll in the morning. Sometimes I go ahead and add my collagen to my smoothies, but most mornings I do warm water, a couple of drops of my chlorophyll and my collagen. And I feel like the collagen is, it's giving, okay? The skin is skinning. I mean, I just, I feel, I feel like my skin is um, reaping the benefits of taking in the collagen. So, that's a fave. So now I think all I have left are shoes. And let's go ahead and get into that. So my favorite pair of tennis shoes, the other one just fell on the floor, are my Stan Smiths. Absolutely love. Absolutely love, y'all. Um, I have done quite a few reels with these. Um, I just think they are the perfect shoe um, to add to a nice casual outfit. I think it does elevate some outfits. Um, they are a little bit on the dirty side because child, at one point I was wearing them every single day. They're very comfortable. I will say size down because I, I typically wear a size nine and these are eight and a half and I still feel like they are a little big. So definitely size down, but these are so good guys i really want to get into um jordan ones and dunks i just have not pulled the plug because i'm so nervous that i'm just not gonna like them so i don't know i don't know y'all okay 
Um, these next three pairs I bought um, a while ago and I just have not worn them. I did show these. Um, these are from Aldo, uh, one of the vlogs. I believe I got these back in November. I don't really have a pair of nude shoes. Now, these are not very wintry and <laughs> they're not your typical like wear to work nude shoe, but they were on sale guys. And I just thought they were, I mean, I love anything like fishnet. Um, I think they're very stylish, a very nice heel height. Um, uh, and they're, they're pretty, they're very comfortable. So I don't think I'll have a link to these because again, these were on clearance. So, um, the next pair of shoes I picked up from the real real. Now, um, I do work, um, as a director, I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse 24 years, so I'm kind of more on the, I guess, corporate side of nursing, so I do dress up. So one of my favorite um, pair of work shoes are Tory Burch. Um, we have a Tory Burch outlet here. Um, however, her shoes can still run you well over $100. Now, personally, do I think they're worth over a hundred dollars absolutely i've had several pairs of tory birch i think it is a very very elevated sophisticated flat for me in my opinion um if you are a working girl and you work in an office um however okay i want all the pairs okay so i got this pair from the real real now it's no, if you've been following me for a while, child, you know, I am, I am bougie on a budget. I love luxury. I love, you know, everything, um, fashion house, but child, I need it on sale. Okay. I, I don't like to pay for a retail. Okay. So I did pick up this black pair of Tory Burch from the real, real. And as you can see, child, I don't even know if they wore these. They look brand new. They did not come in the box. These are a size nine and a half. I normally get my size, my Tory Burch, a size up because, you know, um, I, I just like to size up. I think they feel better. Um, now, I, I don't wear a lot of silver, but I figured for what they, because y'all, these were well under a hundred dollars and these are real leather. Okay. Um, brand, they look brand new. They may have worn them a few times. But again, um, the real real is the type of site where you can go, of course, to find everything fashion house, um, Chanel, Gucci, Saint Laurent, um, Givenchy, everything under the sun at a fraction of the price. Now, one of the things that I like about Fashion File is I am a more of a classic, um, vintage if you if you want to say i don't necessarily have to have what is currently trending does that make sense because tory birch has recently changed now they still sell these but this is called the reva i have and i'm not going to show you because child i need another pair i wore those into the ground but i have a brown pair that i wear those are the newer i don't think those are called revas though but they are the newer um, Tory Burch, uh, flat, if that makes sense. These are kind of like when she first came out. Now, don't get it twisted now. They, the girls still want these. They still sell these. But if, for me, if I can find them on the resale market at a fraction of the price, child, it's a no-brainer, okay? Y'all, go on the real real. They have them in every color, every size. Like, I have like, five of the pairs in my, um, in my cart. So I, I plan on having all the colors by the end of the summer. So anyway, I got these for work from the real, real. Okay. And they give you a little dust bag to put them in. We're almost finished guys. I got two more items. Now these items I bought on black Friday. They are by Steve Madden. I bought these boots. I got these from DSW. Absolutely love the heel. Now, child, I don't know where I'm wearing them to, but they were 50% off, and I just had to have them. 
<laughs> if I can find a link, I will link them, okay? But these are by Steve Madden. These would go nice with some jeans, a nice oversized sweater or blouse. So, and then the last pair is also by Steve Madden, but I got these, these, I got the other pair from Macy's. And I'll probably wear these for Valentine's Day. Now, y'all know this is a play on the Valentinos. Y'all know Steve Madden can do a dupe, baby. Okay? If Steve Madden can't do nothing else, he can copy a shoe. Okay? Y'all, when I saw these, and I, again, I got these for, on Black Friday. Um, they were half off, I think. Or maybe 40% off. I see myself with like an oversized blazer, a short one. Okay? Maybe some some tights, depending on what the weather is, what what the what the weather is like, and these, ooh, or maybe a cute dress. I don't know yet, but y'all, tell me she not cute. Tell me she not cute. So, I will also link these if I can find a link. So, that is it, guys. Um. Oh, okay, the set that I'm wearing, it's by Yvette's Sportswear. I've already done the video on her things, but child, listen, this is this set is everything. I will put a picture on the screen. If you don't buy nothing else from Yvette's Sport, Sportswear, buy this set. I do have a discount code. I will put it in the description box. This set is so good, y'all. And actually, I did not work out today. I'm just lounging around the house, and I have this set on. I have a sweater on. She's good, y'all. She is so good. So, but that is it, guys. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products um, or what products should I try next. I am looking for more perfume and just all things smell good, but I'm looking for, uh, well, let me just say this. I don't have a winter or a spring or a summertime scent. I wear what I want to, if I spent my coins, I'm going to wear it when I want to wear it, okay? But, I am looking for some really nice, um, fresh, you know, I want some sass in it. I don't just, I just don't want floral and fruity. I need some bergamot. I need some jasmine. You know, I need it to be feminine, sexy, yet, you know, fresh. She smell good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hit me, you know, not hit me. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you think I should get for the summertime. Um, I do have a few on my list. I do want to repurchase my Alien Goddess because that was just, I wore her all summer. But again, she is one of those, for me, she can't stand alone. She needs a partner in crime. She she need a friend. She need a homegirl. But they do have the Alien Goddess Intense, which is probably what I will buy instead of the regular Alien Goddess. But anyway, y'all, I'm jaw jacking now. Thank you, thank you so, so much if you've made it to the end of this video. Um, and you, and if you like my content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. If you are an oldie but a goodie girl, you know I love you, okay? Make sure you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Let's have a party in the comments, okay? Um, make sure your post notifications are on. Do all the things the other YouTubers tell you to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.